What is up, you guys? It is your boy, Rootless Motherfucking Stillers. And today, oh my god, we are reviewing Cobra Kai, which is based on the Karate Kid story. Now, I know most of you may not know this, but Karate Kid happens to be one of my most favorite films of all time. I watch it again and again and again. Uh, my favorite of the franchise would have to be Karate Kid Part 2, where uh, Mr. Miyagi and Daniel are in Okinawa, and have to, f and Daniel has to fight Chosen at the end. Uh, if you haven't seen Karate Kid Part 2, which everybody in the world has, and if you haven't, well, then you're a sore loser. But uh, anyway, yeah. That's pretty much um, what happens. Daniel fights Chosen at the end. But anyway, enough about that crap. Uh, let's cover Cobra Kai. Let's get started. So, alright. So, we start off. Um, the, ma the main points that I want to hit. I have main points. Um, we start off with uh, the last scene. In the, the last scene in the, in the All Valley Tournament in the first movie. Where um, Daniel does the crane kick. Now what I found um, what I found cool about this part is that they uncovered um, new new video new images from that movie um, and they put it right there. So now instead of when he does the crane kick, uh, when he does the crane kick, uh, he just hits him in the face and there it's over. But this time when he hits him with the crane kick, the strange thing is is that it zooms in on it zooms in on his face when he's getting hit back. And uh, he falls to the floor, and then uh, the screen goes to black as it goes into his black gi, and then it comes out, and he's just um, he's lying on the floor. He's like all old and stuff. So basically, that was the that was a fast forward uh, part of the movie. And uh, then um, we go to um, uh, Johnny's living like a bum. He's uh, having tr he's having trouble. Um, I just watched the series. I just finished watching the series today, so uh, I might have to go back and watch it to see what I miss on this. But uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so uh, Johnny's living like a bum, and then he, uh, this kid, goes to buy his grandma some medicine, some Pepto Bismol, because she has diarrhea. And uh, these these uh, high schoolers walk into the walk into the convenience store. And um, they try to buy some beer illegally, um, and so that that was one of the main parts that I want to hit. That Cobra Kai really endorsed minor drinking, but I'll get to that here in a couple minutes. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so they go in. Uh, he beats a. Uh, um, something happens. Um, some, something happens. Uh, I believe. Um, I, I believe. Miguel makes Kyler mad for some reason and then Kyler gets uh, Kyler gets pissed off and then he beats the shit out of this dude but anyway um the thing turns out is how Mr. Miyagi saved Daniel in the first movie uh Johnny Lawrence just happened to be sitting by his car drinking and um no not by his car on a curb drinking and they mess with his car and so he's like hey man watch the car and uh yeah um uh, they didn't want to stop, so uh, they ended up um, they ended up um, fighting. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, the first plot point that I wanted to hit was uh, the unresolved plot with the rival Auto King. Now, if you watch the series, uh, in a uh, they they hit really home that Larusso was Daniel was now a um, car salesman, and you know as a car salesman he must have a lot of competition. So, um, one of his competitors, um, one of his competitors, his name was, what was his name, like, Cole, or, or I honestly don't know, uh, but anyway, uh, he was the, he was the second auto king, and so, I, I felt like they could have built more on that, like, cause the, cause the last time we saw him was when Daniel kicked the bubba T out of his hand, like, he had some bubba in his hand, he just kicked it out of his hand, totally epic, uh, love that kick, um, but yeah, we saw we saw that, and that was the last time we saw him. But what I didn't like 
was how they didn't come back to him. I think they could have, like, like as a side story. I mean, I know there are side stories. Obviously, that wasn't the true intention of the uh, of the series. But, uh, yeah, I felt like they could have built on that. Um, and, and, yeah, I felt like they, ju they just could have brought more to the table. And so... Um, I wish, the second plot point that I want to hit is that I wish they would have shown a little bit of Robbie's childhood, like with Johnny. Uh, I wish they would have shown um, Robbie, I don't know, Ra Robbie and Johnny together when Johnny is younger than he is now, you know? I wish they could have shown that. That would have that, that would have added some extra backstory to John. Uh, I mean, the Robbie and Johnny's relationship. Uh, I felt like that could have been good. Um, anyway, um, what else, uh, let me check, let me see these notes, um, yeah, coming back to the endorsing minor drinking part, uh, there was a scene in the series where, that I didn't really like, I was like, what the hell, um, where, um, the, the Cobra Kai team had just been led on, uh, to fight the All Valley Tournament, and, uh, and uh, Miguel had gone out with Samantha for the first time, and he had kissed her. And uh, they came back. Both of them came back to the to the dojo. Johnny and uh, Miguel. They were both happy. They were both um. They were both very enthusiastic. And then he's and then Johnny's like, "Yo, this calls for a real toast." And then pulls out two beers. And like I was like, "Yo, this dude is like." I mean, I know I know it's not real beer, and I know. He's not going to give a kid real beer, but, like, still, that's, like, in, that guy's in high school. Uh, so there's no way, like, you know, I didn't like how they endorsed all this minor drinking and smoking pot and stuff like that. I mean, I know we do it in our generation, but, like, yo, we don't need to get the next generation fucked up. But anyway, um, yeah, and then after that, uh, I liked all the Mr. Miyagi references. All the Mr. Miyagi references hit, hit home with me because, um... As you know, uh, Pat Morita died, and so we can't see any more Mr. Miyagi. I mean, we can see, like, old footage and his tombstone, but uh, we can't see him ever perform ever again. Which is super sad and depressing, because he was one of my favorite characters in that movie. And, um, but yeah, uh, I liked all the Mr. Miyagi references when, um, uh, when Danny was teaching him to wax on, wax off, and he was telling me, show me, wax on, wax off, and all that stuff. Uh, with uh, Robbie, uh, I thought that was uh, I thought that was really good. Um, and the the next part that I, that I liked about it is I, I like how they brought um, Daniel's mom in the movie. I don't know her name in her life, but Lucille. I like how they brought her back. Like she had been gone for Karate Kid two. She had a cameo in Karate Kid two. Uh, she had been gone for Karate Kid two, Karate Kid three, and uh, I just felt like it was time to bring her back. And she looked way different than she looked in the 80s like she's super old now like she's short and she hardly has any hair I mean she has hair but like it's short um but yeah I liked how they brought her and I like how um after um after what's his face um Daniel's cousin what was his name again it's an Italian name well whatever um when he uh, burned Johnny's car, well, when he and his men burned Johnny's car, uh, I liked how um, when Daniel got him the the charge, the I mean the Challenger, um, I like how they went back to the apartment complex and he's like, oh, I kicked your ass around the corner, and uh, that little part was funny because then he's like, yeah, we all know how that turned out because if you remember the Halloween party thing. Um, when Mr. Miyagi, when Mr. Miyagi first met Johnny and kicked his ass like that, that was a true thing that happened there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's go back to the roots of Karate Kid, the fights, the dramatic fights. So my first, uh, the first, uh, one of my favorite fights is obviously the final fight, uh, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, my second, uh, favorite, my second favorite was the um, Miguel and Kyler fight. That was great. Um, when he just started, um, when he just had learned enough karate, like he had failed, like he tried to use karate on Kyler, but it didn't work. And then uh, the second time when he was standing up for Sam, that was like so epic. I love that part. The second one was the, 
the Robbie versus the Thugs fight, like the two thugs that try to get him to rob uh, the LaRusso auto complex with them. Um, I like that part a lot because uh, they were just ganging up on him. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, I liked all the tension between Johnny and Daniel. That's another point. Uh, it felt like we were stuck in the 80s. Um, Johnny Lawrence, Cobra Kai, and Daniel LaRusso from Miyagi Do Karate. Uh, it felt like we were there. It felt like, you know, like there was a lot, a lot of tension between Johnny and Daniel. Uh, the second thing is I like how they showed uh, Mr. Miyagi's house. I like how at the end of the movie, the very end of the movie, when when Robbie asks, uh, asks Daniel, where are we going? Yo, he takes him to the, to the Miyagi house. And I was like, whoa, like, yo, how did they restore that? Like, I was wondering if that has been there or uh, that obviously I don't think that it's been there. Um, because that'd be weird for that to sit there so many years, but, um, yeah, I liked how they showed his house and his tombstone. Uh, I liked, uh, my favorite part was finding out that he was 86 when he died. So that was, that was a trip. Um, the next thing is, uh, the, the thing that I didn't like about Cobra Kai, the only thing that I could possibly complain about, about this whole series is Daniel LaRusso's character slash personality. And let me tell you why. Uh, the thing about Daniel LaRusso is that in the first, uh, in well, in all the former movies before Cobra Kai, he was known as the good guy. And uh, he was known as the good guy and everything. And um, this doesn't, ju uh, what I'm about to say doesn't just go for Daniel LaRusso. It also goes for Johnny's character. And, um, and yeah, they're both of their characters. I feel like it was very weird because at the beginning, LaRusso was a good guy. And in the end, I don't know. Like, he didn't he didn't stop being a good guy, but he wasn't the greatest guy. Like, he was kind of a douchebag, you know what I mean? Like, um, I don't know. Sometimes the way he acted was kind of like a douche move, you know. But <sighs> that was so weird. And, like, I couldn't understand Johnny's character. Like, I thought Johnny was going to go straight bad again, you know. But I guess not. I guess uh, the choking from um, Sensei Kreese, you know, changed him. But anyway. Oh, sorry, I had to burp there. <laughs> um, the, the last plot point that I wanted to talk about was um, my favorite one. <laughs> Let me tell you why it's my favorite one. Um... Daniel's son. Daniel had Daniel had a son in the in, in the series. His name was Anthony. That little motherfucker pissed me off. I don't know why. He just made me. He was such a dick, you know, that it pissed me off. And like, you know, I don't know. He was just really, really. He just really pissed me off. But anyway, um, yeah. Let us let let us finish this. Um. So yeah, at the end of the day, the Karate Kid, Karate Kid 2, Karate Kid 3, uh, I'm not going to count the next Karate Kid because I haven't seen that one, honestly. Um, Cobra Kai, uh, they are, I consider them, uh, see the plot of Karate Kid was a young boy trying to fit in uh, and overcome his bullies. And I feel like that carried in the second one in the third one, and in Cobra Kai. Uh, and I feel like it'll always stay that way. I feel like if, if, I mean, if Cobra Kai comes back for a second season, which honestly, if you have any ideas for the, what that second season would be like, make sure to leave them down below, because honestly, I don't have any idea what else they can grow off of. I mean, other than the, other than, like I said, the car auto thing. Um, and anyway... Uh, yeah, other than that, I don't see how, how they could grow on the story, but I guess we can find out. Uh, but yeah, I just want to thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to listen to me talk about Cobra Kai. I know I, know, I, know I don't know the facts all the way through. There's some stuff that I forgot, uh, but I just watched the whole series in one night, so and I haven't had any sleep, so like you know, don't judge me. I will probably come back in a video and recorrect myself if I messed up. Or you guys can recorrect me in the comment section down below. Uh, but other than that, if you click up there, you're going to be seeing my latest reaction video. And my latest, um, what do you call it? 
my latest reaction video, my latest song, my bad, I'm sorry. See, so many things are running through my head, I just forget stuff. And if you click up there, you should be seeing my face, and you should know to subscribe to that hell, because we're making a movement here on the Rootless Stella channel. But anyway, if that is it, then I am out of here. See you guys later.